Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. All right, this is the third time I've recorded. The first time I noticed that I wasn't getting any audio signal to this RS. Because remember, in yesterday's video, the sound shut off, and I couldn't figure out why. Basically, what happened is that because of the touchscreen, and remember I warned you about the touchscreen, it's a blessing and a curse. It's, it's very responsive and very easy to change settings, but that's also its detriment, that it's very responsive and very easy to change the settings. So what I think happened was that when I was dicking around with it, I turned the setting from mono to stereo. And when I put it on stereo, it was looking for another signal. Maybe it was looking for the signal from the other transmitter. I don't know. Um, I have no idea the, you know, the sorcery of that, but I know that this morning, after I went through last night and set everything up with stereo and had it set up the way that I thought that I wanted it, when I put it on here this morning, it wasn't sending signal to the RS. Now I've taken the RS apart, put it back together just to make sure that it didn't need a reset. I've checked all the connections and the cables and everything. When I look at the receiver, the DJI receiver, it shows that I'm getting signal, but that signal wasn't going to the RS and I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Then it hit me. Maybe because I've got it set to stereo, it's looking for two transmitters or two channels, and maybe it's not getting the one that it needs. Whatever. Like I said, I don't understand the sorcery. So I changed it from stereo to mono. As soon as I changed it and I watched that thing go to M, bam, the audio signal popped up on the RS. Problem solved. And that's all the nuances of playing with a new toy. It's similar, but not the same as the Rode Wireless Go, which I've been using for, you know, how many years, you know, and even the Rode Wireless Go 2 was different than the Rode Wireless Go 1. And it took me a while to figure that out. Couple of things. One, I had the low pass filter on and I think that may have made me sound a little bit more muffled because I was really surprised at how little noise there was, especially when I had the windows down and I was driving. I thought, well, that actually, that's not too bad. But now I have the low pass filter off. Also, I automatically, when I take my footage into Final Cut, I drag the volume down five decibels because it records really high. And I'd rather have it be a little bit higher than too low because I can fix too high, but I can't fix too low. I can't. Somebody could, I can't. And again, I'm not dicking around with trying to do all these, oh, you got to add this, this filter and you got to do this setting. I'm not doing that. That's the same thing as color grading, which I also won't do. I turn the low pass filter off. We'll see what this sounds like tonight when I get it on the computer, when I get to the hotel. I also, when I went into editing last night, when I dropped the volume, that minus five, automatically, I could see that it had made the overall level lower when I was using the DJI stuff than I did when I had it on the Rode Wireless Go stuff. So that's my fault. I probably could have brought it back up, but I didn't because I thought it sounded okay. I thought it sounded okay. That's sitting there with my, you know, my good uh, headphones on. But apparently it wasn't because it was low and muffled and I sounded far away. That could be why. So today, right now, in the Forerunner, driving with very little cabin noise because I got new tires, but still the same wind noise because of the shitty glass. How does it sound? Now that I have the low pass filter off, the gain turned up plus three on this. So now when I bring the volume down, it should level out to where it needs to be. And I have it on mono so that I can actually get a signal to the RS. How's it sound? Do I sound any better? Is there still, you know, a decent muffling of the noise inside the vehicle? Or now that I've shut the low pass filter off, is it like, oh my God, that's really annoying. And, oh wow, nobody won the Powerball. Shit, I gotta play that. It's 365 million. Hell yeah, I'll take that. But for now, at least I figured out why the hell it wasn't getting signal. And, and that came to me in a stupor this morning that I was like, wait a minute, maybe it's because it's on stereo and it should be on mono. And I was right. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's make our way down south. Oh, hey kids. So the monkey totally crashed when he got to the hotel. I was out cold. I kind of don't even know where the hell I am right now. Shit, it's like 20 after seven. Uh, let's go find a place to eat. All right, the monkey's all better now. He had dinner and it was quite delicious. I went to a Carabas and I got grilled chicken with grilled asparagus and a salad with no croutons and no cheese. 
and of course just water to drink. I think that this pretty much concludes today's test. What I have learned about this thing is that number one, I can't have it on stereo if I have it plugged into this Insta360. For now, I think that's going to be across the board. I have to have it on mono because I'm only using one transmitter, not both. So it was looking for the other channel and it wasn't coming up. That's why there was no sound at the end of that video. Now, right now, I can see my audio indicator jumping as I'm speaking. So that's a good thing. Hopefully, the entire day I've actually recorded audio. If not, no video today. Ah, okay. So I got that all squared away. Got to be in mono, not stereo. I have to take off the low pass filter and I need to push the button on the side of the receiver to lock the touchscreen because the locking the touchscreen will keep the monkey from changing the settings without being able to see what the hell he's doing. Now, right now I'm sitting in front of a mirror so I can look at the screen of the receiver in the mirror and I can see that indeed it's getting audio feed because the meter's jumping and I haven't touched anything and messed it up. So it is in mono, it, it doesn't have low pass filter on and we should be good to go. Now, true to my test, I'm sitting right next to the air conditioning unit and it's just going nonstop because it's so freaking humid and schwitzy down here. So uh, we'll see if it picks that up. I think it'll be fine. It might be a little bit different without that low pass filter on because that clearly cut a lot of noise out because it was a lot noisier when I was driving with the windows down next to all that traffic and it didn't really pick all that up. But those of you did say it sounded muffled. So I hope it's a little bit better today. Now, obviously I have this pretty much right where I had the Rode Wireless Go 2 or Rode Wireless Go 1 transmitter, and we'll see what that sounds like now. All right, I'm gonna edit this video and get it posted so everyone can see what I came up with today as far as this goes. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.